Yes, madam. Lost his appetite. Yes. Can I have your name and address, please, madam? 32. Yes, I've got that, madam. Lost his appetite. Very strange. Looks like rain. Yeah. Can't feel it on duty down Vauxhall Street. Yeah. That flipping poster. Third time this morning. Needs a bit of gum, massage. I reckon he needs more than that. Why did not think of it before? What is it, Sarge? What a fool! Staring us in the face. Take that thing. Right, have you seen this man? No. Have you? I haven't. This is it. Brenda, hold in. Remember that case last year, up north somewhere, Proddy? No. Well, this is it. Pocket money scandal. These kids were spending money fast as they could get it, and they'd never say where. Police eventually tracked down a sleazy dump run by this villain here. A sort of snack bar and a takeaway. He let these young uns have all the sweets they wanted. And quite a few actually got hooked on the stuff. Sweet addicts at the age of nine and ten. The kids called him Dr. Sweet. Dr. Sweet, Dr. Sweet Tooth, because he told them all this sugary stuff was good for them. Play it again, Sam. Hello. Nice to see you. Enjoy yourself. Mm, come on, laddie, this way. What's this? Found him sitting on the pavement, Sarge. Won't tell us his name or where he lives. Nothing. Sit him down. I reckon he's been stuffing himself stupid. Yeah. What have you been eating? Oh, put that blessed satchel down. No, leave it alone. It's mine. Look at all that. Squash -o. Fizzy drink. Crumbs. No wonder he feels sick. Come on, laddie, wake mm. up. No. Take him down to the cells. Let him sleep it off. Oh. When he comes round, let him go. Sarge, aren't you going to charge him? No, lad. I reckon we're on to something here. But we don't know who that boy is. He won't say a word. No, but one thing we do know, his school. How do you know that? you got a lot to learn, Ploddy. Oh. Mm. You know, that kid's a sweet addict. Chances are he'll be going off to get another supply tomorrow. I know. We'll wait for him outside school and we'll follow him. But he mustn't suspect a thing. Oh, yeah. Right, Sarge. Sergeant, I feel a right nana dressed up in all this. Stop moaning, Proddy. Oh, look for Gutsy Malone. That's what we've meant to be doing. You're doing a grand job. Now get on with it. Right, Sarge. They're coming, Sarge! I'll tell you, they're coming! <laughs> Ploddy, what are you doing down there? Getting up, Sarge. Well, get up then. Ploddy, isn't that the little villain, Sarge? Here it is. It's changed, quick. Come on, Ploddy. Come on. Hi, Gutsy. Hi, Billy. Dot Sweet Tooth around. Yeah, won't be a minute. Just serve some customers. Have a seat and I'll tell them that you're here. Excuse me, boss. Gutsy's here. Thank you. Gutsy, my boy. How are you? Nice to see you. Ah, bought me some new customers. Yeah, this is Kathy and Faith. Hello, Kathy. Hey, nice to see you. Gonna start with your usual, Gutsy? Yeah, making a double. That's my boy. Zoe? Are 
these two and carry for pocket money. Absolutely loaded. Good. Sam? Oh, let's see what we've got here to tempt you with. Oh, smashing. What's up? Don't you like them? Yes, but I think it might spoil my tea. Oh, no. <laughs> but I thought it was, well, bad for you to eat all that sugar and sweet things. Who's told you that? Your mum. <laughs> Why does she say it's bad? You get fat. I like fat people. But if you're fat, you can't run very fast. Who wants to run everywhere? A lot of sugar and things makes your teeth drop out. You can get false ones. I don't want false ones. I'm not staying here. Cathy, you've got it all wrong. You can eat sweets for years and years before your teeth drop out. How many years? Well, I can't say for certain. It varies. But don't you worry, dear. They start aching a long time before they drop out. Stay where you are, everyone! This is a police raid! The place is surrounded! Oh, what do you think you're doing, Polly? Get up! Ah, oh, so this is where you've been getting to. Dr. Sweet Tooth, I presume. We've been looking for you for a long time. I arrest you, in the name of the law, for maliciously endangering public health. Anything you wish to say will be taken down and used in evidence. Scrunchy! Where's Squinty? Get him, Bobby! Get him! Guilty. Not guilty, of course. Proceed, Mr. Nutt. Much obliged, my lord. Dr. Sweet Tooth, when a schoolboy or a schoolgirl comes into your uh, premises for a snack, what do they eat? Chocolate biscuits, ice lollies, cream buns, sugary biscuits, cakes. And in the afternoon, the children still want something to eat after lunch? Ah. That's just it. They don't eat any lunch because of how all that stuff for elevens is. So about three o'clock in the afternoon, they're ready for another little nibble. Cakes, biscuits, sweets and pot. You name it, I sell it. You admit then that because of you, children never eat a proper meal. Are you suggesting that children shouldn't eat snacks at all? Certainly not, my lord. But not that amount of food and not in between meals. All right, then, what can they eat? Ah, some cheese. Delicious. An apple. A small snack. Recommended by the nutrition experts. I beg your pardon, Mr. Nutt. You shouldn't speak with your mouth full. What was that you said about nutrition experts? Uh, they are the people who know about the right sort of food to eat, my lord. Milk, for instance, full of goodness and vitamins. Nuts! Precisely! Nuts are very good for you. All of this is much better for one than eating sweets and cakes and pop. A banana, for instance. Monkeys eat them! <laughs> Starting silence. Members of the jury, to keep strong and healthy, 
everyone, both children and grown-ups, should have a balanced diet. Mr Nutt, is this bit going to be long and boring? Balanced diet's not long and boring, my lud. For instance, meat, fish, cheese, milk, fruit, vegetables, bread, cereals. But eating too much sugar in the form of sweets and cakes and fizzy drinks is not good. It will cause children to become fat and lazy. And they will suffer from bad teeth. Prove it! Prove it! I will. Here, in a report from the British Dental Association, four and a half million teeth have to be taken out every year. A report from the British Medical Association. Half the adult population are overweight. And what have you got to say in your defence, Dr Sweettooth? Lord, children don't want all that rabbit food. They want pop. They want sugary cakes and biscuits. They want treacle tarts and jam tarts. I couldn't sell them if they didn't want them, you silly old goat. Silent Silent Members of the jury. If this man and people like him are allowed to encourage children to eat sweets, our schools will soon become full of sugar addicts. Young boys and girls hooked on sweets for life, getting no proteins, no vitamins, eating too much sugar and fat. Is this the sort of misery we want for our families? I beg you to make an example of this man and show the world we do not want the future health of our children destroyed by the likes of him. Have you anything to say, Dr Sweettooth? <laughs> of the jury. It is now for you to decide. Has this man deliberately and knowingly been endangering our children's health? Please consider your verdict. Have you reached your verdict? We have, my lord. How do you find the prisoner? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Dr. Samuel Sweettooth, I sentence you to be locked up for ten years and to eat nothing but school dinners. Take him down. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm not going to eat school dinners for ten years. I'm standing outside the court where Dr. Samuel Sweettooth has just been sentenced to ten years of school dinners. As he was brought outside, he was mobbed by... As you can see, hundreds of angry mothers and fathers. Sergeant? Sergeant? Yes? Sergeant, can you tell me exactly what happened? Where is Dr Sweetie? I don't know. He's gone away through that crowd. These stupid people. But don't you worry. My men are after him. And if anyone sees him, they contact their nearest police station. Yes, they must. But people do not understand. He is a very dangerous man and they should not approach him. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. So, from outside the courtroom, this is Gallic Collier, ITN, Borsal Common. <laughs>